Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here today bringing you guys yet another FIFA 20 squad builder on the channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most insane 150k teams right now in FIFA 20 that is indeed built around this new release team of the season card. He actually looks pretty decent, honestly he actually really does look pretty decent. He does have 3 star skill moves but 5 star weak foot, he's very very pacey, got amazing finishing very very agile good dribbling ball control shot power finishing like you just cannot go wrong with using this card he looks absolutely insane and i know you guys want to see a cheap overpowered squad builder around this player remember guys all the tradable players that it's all the tradable players that add up to 150k all right sbc cards are not included in the price of these squad builders because at the end of the day they're not here forever so after a few days they'll be gone and again you'll only be left with the tradable players so it only makes sense to include the tradable players in the price of the team but if you guys don't have this card already it's going to be more than 150k for you guys but anyways enough for me waffling on make sure you guys do like the video make sure you guys do subscribe and make sure you guys do turn on post notifications but without further ado let's waste no more time and get straight into the squad builder baby let's get a let's go okay guys so as you can see on your screens right now for this insane 150k team the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 4334 variation but guys you can also use the 4231 formation in game but you'd have to switch to that all right because obviously you need this you need to use this formation to get everyone on full chemistry but if you wanted to use the 4231 formation then you could but you'd have to change that formation in a game and start out using this formation then in game change to the 4231 but you can also use this formation as well because it does work really well with this team but with that being said let's go ahead and just get straight into the squad builder so we're going to start off with the left wing position and we do have an incredible beast man an overpowered player he goes by the name of Leroy Sane incredibly pacey skillful and just genuinely a beastly player out wide on that left hand side as you guys can see he does have four star skill moves yes he's only got three star skill moves but honestly for a winger it's not the worst thing in the world because they don't really um you don't really find yourselves or get yourselves into those positions where you need to like shoot on their weaker foot so honestly in my opinion and for the way i personally play having a freestyle uh weak foot player out wide isn't really that bad but as you can see man he's very very fast he's got 96 sprint speed 93 acceleration he also does have 81 finishing 87 shot power and 84 attacking positioning he also does have 86 agility 85 ball control and 88 dribbling i highly recommend you guys get leroy sane honestly he will just terrorize the fences um, out wide on that left hand side he really is an incredible player so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Leroy Sane you just you just simply cannot go wrong with using this beastly card but moving on in towards our right wing spot we go we do have another German beast out on the wing man he goes by the name of Serge Gnabry Serge Gnabry is a beastly player man again kind of reminds me of Leroy Sane in this game in terms of the fact that he's very very pacey you know um he's skillful again he's got four star skill means four star weak foot he's pacey he's finishing is good shot power is good he's super agile as well his ball control and dribbling is very good as well so again very very good dribbling and again just another player that fits the meta of this game as you guys can see there man high balance high agility and that's just the kind of things that you really really want to see from your wide players so again another bc player another overpower player that we do have out wide so make sure you guys go ahead and pick up serge ganabri but as you guys can see man this is the attack so far we got the trio here that are going to get you just a, an incredible amount of goals man honestly these three together absolutely ridiculous but that is the attack completed let's go ahead and move on in towards the midfield okay so guys moving on in towards the midfield we go we do have an absolutely insane beastly player he goes by the name of marco royce an overpowered player and generally one of my favorite gold cams in fifa 20 i use him a lot back in the day and i really really did think that he was very overpowered man honestly such a beast in that cam spot as you guys can see he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot he's got a little bit of pace about him as well his finishing is exceptional his shot power is good as always long shots is very good 
good as well and his agility ball control dribbling balance and all that good stuff is very very nice so overall as a whole just in general in the cam spot what you need from a cam Marco Royce has all those abilities man and that's why he is just a fantastic player to have right there in that cam spot man the heart of the midfield and he to be honest is going to get you loads of goals and assists and that's why I just really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get my boy Marco Royce in that cam spot but moving on in towards the right centre mid spot we go we do have a foot birthday card a five star skiller an absolute beast and he goes by the name of Maximilian Eckstein or Eckstein however you pronounce the name honestly I'm not too sure as, as to how you pronounce that name but I'm gonna call him Eckstein for the video because that's that, that that's the guess that I'm willing to take but as you can see man a very very nicely well-rounded card good defensively decent in attack his shot power his long shots are good his finishing is okay his passing is very good which is nice you know to have a little creator um there in that center mid spot his agility balance ball control and dribbling isn't too bad obviously his balance is just meh it's decent his agility is nice as well but his ball control dribbling and composure is very very good obviously defending um Eckstein is very very good at he's better defensively than he is going forward but it doesn't really mean that going forward he isn't too bad but as you guys can see man in terms of defending very very good 81 interceptions 85 defensive awareness and 88 standing tackle so I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up Eckstein because he will just do you damage and as you guys can see man he's got five star skill moves and four star weak foot you simply just cannot go wrong with using this beastly card guys honestly I just 100% recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but in the left center mid spot we do have yet another German yet another Bundesliga ca uh, not cam center mid in the team and it is indeed a special card it is indeed an in form card and he goes by the name of Leon Goretzka in form Leon Goretzka is absolutely incredible and I'm guessing that you guys um that's pl that play this game quite a bit you guys probably know that Goretzka is insane in this game man he is a very very good box-to-box -box, well rounded midfielder he's tall strong good defensively and also good going forward just literally he's, he's good at everything there's nothing that he isn't good at finishing good defending good and I'm not gonna lie man the stats don't really represent as to how good he actually is in game lies defending stats should be a lot higher because his defending in game feels a lot better than what the stats do say his finishing should be a lot higher again his dribbling should be higher his agility his passing should be higher he's just his stats in general on this card should be a lot higher than what they actually say um but yeah in game man Goretzka is he, he is he's just a tank like honestly man he's so tall big strong and just a powerful powerful center mid so he really just does dominate everyone in the midfield and that's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up Leon Goretzka man very very overpowered man honestly extremely overpowered so that's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up you simply just cannot go wrong with choosing a card like this but moving on in towards the defense we go we're gonna start off with the two fullbacks we're gonna start off with the right back spot and in this spot we do have yet another Borussia Dortmund player a very very rapid pacey Borussia Dortmund player man he goes by the name of Hakimi Hakimi man you guys know how it is man in, in a cheap 150k team like this having a player like Hakimi you just simply cannot go wrong he is extremely extremely pacey and that's just that's just, that's just literally all you need man for, for for a cheap fullback in a cheap team like this one having a fullback with a 96 sprint speed and 92 acceleration automatically that just makes them useful man you just simply cannot go wrong with that and not only that man defensively he actually is pretty decent as well and that's why i do recommend again that you guys go in and get hikimi obviously there's only so much a fullback can do but hikimi he gets the basics done he does what he needs to do and that's why i just simply recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but as you guys can see man decent defending stats 77 interceptions 75 defensive awareness 78 standing tackle and 71 sliding tackle man you cannot go wrong with this card extremely 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 pacey and that's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but moving on in towards the left back spot we go we do have none other than the man himself Nico Schultz again Nico Schultz kind of reminds me of Hakimi they are pretty much ident identical the only difference between the two is the fact that Hakimi is a lot far well not he's not even a lot faster he's faster by like what plus six sprint speed and a plus a plus three acceleration so yeah they are very 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 similar as you guys can see Schultz again still is very pacey 90 sprint speed speed and 89 acceleration um as you guys can see that's what he's got and again defending when it comes to defending actually isn't too bad either he's got 75 
interceptions, 75 defensive awareness, 77 standing tackle and 78 slide tackle. So again, just a pretty decent left back. Again, as I'm saying, man, there's only so much a fullback can really do. There's so much I can really like say about a fullback. But what I can say is that he's very, very fast and he's just got the essentials that a fullback needs. Like again, like it's, it's, it's pretty simple to be honest, man. Again, he's pacey and decent at defending in a cheap 150k team like this one. Having a fullback like that is just simply like good. It, you just cannot go wrong with it. So just make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Hakimi and Schultz because you cannot go wrong with that partnership. But moving on in towards the center back partnership, we go. We do have an insane partnership, man. We do have just two beastly, beastly players. One of them is being the scream Saint Just the Just. I don't know, I don't really know how you pronounce this name, but Saint Just is the player that we do have here in the left center back spot. A very, very overpowered scream card. Honestly, man, extremely, extremely insane. As you guys can see, man ridiculously pacey with 84 sprint speed and 85 acceleration but not only has he got pace he's also very very good at defending and that's what makes him such an overpowered player in this team or just in general as you guys can see man he's got 83 interceptions 85 stand tackle and 83 sliding tackle so very very good defending stats but not only that man again very very fast man he will be able to catch up to those rapid um attackers that people now do have at this stage of fifa and that's what makes him such a special midfielder and again and not a midfielder a special defender and again to be able to like have this player in a cheap team like this absolutely crazy so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but to partner up with saint just in the centre back spot we do have my man Akanji now you guys can go for Hernandez if you want to be honest both of them are very very similar um I do like Akanji I do like Hernandez but literally for the sake of this video I've gone with Akanji in my opinion man Akanji is just different gravy I said hit my mic there he is ridiculous guys honestly I really really do like him a lot I know his acceleration isn't the best 70 isn't that good but his his sprint speed is just ridiculous as you guys can see man he's got 85 sprint speed and not only that man he's just super super strong very very good at defending and just generally a beast and a tank in that center back spot again man a very very dominant center back you can just feel how strong he is and just how much of a force he is in that center back spot and that's why i do like using a kanji in this game and that's why i do recommend that you guys use a kanji in this game because again he really is a beast of a player man again pacey but also good at defending and that's what you really want from your center backs and that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up a kanji but moving on in towards the goalkeeper spot to complete this insane 150k team a built around this team this season card we do have the man himself the one and only um Herodeki. Herodeki in this game is just he's, he's a decent goalkeeper he really is a decent goalkeeper again there's only so much that i can say about a goalkeeper there's only so much a goalkeeper can do but first things first if you want you can go ahead and upgrade to his inform version or his team of the season version um and another thing that i like about Herodeki is the fact that his, his reflexes is very very good and his diving and his positioning the fact that he's got good diving reflexes flexes and positioning just means you simply cannot go wrong with using that card like honestly he positions himself well his diving is good and his reflex is good they are like the three most important stats in my opinion that you want to have on a goalkeeper and that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get harideki because i just think he performs a lot um very very well in game um but yeah as you guys can see this is the insane 150k team built around the one and only the man himself undav i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name undav um but yeah man this team is absolutely ridiculous it's very very sweaty and it's just a team that i recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up man it really is a good team and if you guys are watching this at a time where you don't have this team of the season undav card um then you can literally just go ahead and pick up the team Werner. simply just pick up an informed team Werner. um but obviously that would make the team a little bit more expensive than 150k but you know if you don't have the funds and pick up just a normal gold team or one just pick up any version of team or one that you can afford if you cannot or if you don't have this undav card because i'm pretty sure by the time this video is actually released this card won't be out and um yeah but I wanted to make a team around this card because I know you guys, um, some of you guys um, have actually um, got this card from the SBC. But again, as I was saying, if you don't have this card, then go ahead and just pick up Team Moana. It's literally as simple as that. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. Hit that bell because it is much appreciated. Make sure you guys get notified when I do upload these insane squad builders. But let me know your thoughts of this team. I really, I really, really want to know what you guys think give it a rating out of 10 but anyways guys it has been your boy rb plays don't forget to follow my instagram as well at rbplays.youtube and until next time peace